¡Listo!
Thank you. So this is our, our last show before our tour begins. This is, uh, yeah. or you could say this is our first show. It's our last first. <laughs> we, our first last show. We've been cruising around playing at radio stations and everything, and, and this is this is like uh, the first real thing here. So thanks for that.
not every day that we walk into a venue like this and are introduced to one of our precious bandmates, brand new daughters.
then we have the opportunity to record our most recent record in Sinson Beach. Yeah. Down here to the New Coast. Breathe in, I mean, redwood forest hikes and swimming in some rather chilly waters. But it was just incredible that your coastline really infused us and infused the record. So it's fun to celebrate the release of it here with you all tonight. So those are the three new ones that we're going to play in old one now. Yeah. 
How's everyone doing? Yeah. Man, it's so beautiful here. This place, California. Oh, let me introduce the band real quick. Matthew Embry from the RX Bandits. Has joined us. He's in uh, RX Bandits. He's from Long Beach. Back row from Seal Beach. And uh, one of my favorite bands of all time. Check him out if you don't know him. He's uh, gracious, enough, gracious enough to join us for a And then you met JR, who just had the JR lives up in San Francisco now. He's originally from Nashua, New Hampshire. And Mike Zawinski, also he lives in LA now, but from originally from Cleveland. And, and uh, for those of you who I, 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 For those of you who have listened to the record, Mike produced and engineered the record. No, no. And... Yeah. Yeah. And uh, worked his ass off. Even when we went to bed, he was still working. seasons of our lives and are realizing now what uh, what a gift it really is to be alive, to be healthy, to have the freedom to make music and for you guys to show up and to give us your hearts and your ears. And part of the journey for us too is to figure out what kinds of uh, causes and stories that we would want to infuse into our music. And the Native American story increasingly is becoming something really uh, important to Chad and I and to the rest of us. And I've spent some time in South Dakota on Pine Ridge, a reservation that seems to be at the epicenter of um, so much of the difficulty. And beautifully met this guy named Bernard Running Eagle, who is the biggest smile and the biggest beating heart, and he just loves music. So through that relationship, I wrote a song called Flag.
the guns on your shoulders, not knowing what to do with these contradicting orders. The general said you would do his own duty, but he would stay no further. And then you go and stay peace. But not a man more. Their eyes get straight ahead to one by one. They step back and not a represent. The old general's left with his own words at the way they said. He had prepared to fight, he said. Yeah. 
you know, we, we, we just kind of go back there and pretend like we don't want to play any more songs. And we're like, <laughs> oh, thanks for not leaving. It was great. That's our first encore of the year. So thanks. So we've got some, we've already noted a couple of little ones, but I also know there's a little man Jack here. Yeah, and I met so a little cute. one named Azalea that's somewhere over there. It's her first show. And I'm sure there are some other little ones around here. Um, I don't know how you guys feel, right but right there. The one in the belly. What we really, really, really want to do is focus on these little drums and their futures. Yes! 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 And everything that we do. And everything that we do. So here's to owning what we have to own and making some things change. Yes. Alright? But these drums, these yes. beautiful little ones.
chance that their father's never seen. So she wants me on. Time to 